Are you throwing away your money by renting? Today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of renting versus buying a home. Let's go! Quite often I get a lot of clients asking me, is it better to buy or is it better to rent? So that's the topic we're going to talk about. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about the pros of renting a home. It's relatively cheap to rent a home, say within a five year period or less. All you need to do is pay your damage deposit and then you just pay your rent each month. As long as you keep the house clean and you don't break anything, you get your damage deposit back when you move out. So you just have your moving costs like renting the truck, gas for the truck, and perhaps beer and pizza for your friends. Maybe if you use a company to move you, then you would have to obviously pay them up front. But these would be your only costs. These are relatively low fees compared to home ownership. And number two, less financial responsibilities. If something goes wrong with the rental property, all you need to do is call your landlord or perhaps the company that you're leasing the property from and they will fix everything. It's their responsibility, not yours. You can rest ashore, go to bed, and knowing that these things are going to get fixed and it's not gonna get fixed on your dime. It's gonna be the landlord or the company. So no issues for you, no worries. And number three, you're not tied down to anything. If you're tired of living in that property or perhaps that area, you can make that change. Or if you want to make a move to a different province or perhaps a different country, you can do that. Once your lease is up, you just pick up, pack your things and out you go. Now let's talk about the cons of renting. In the beginning, it can be fairly inexpensive to rent, but in the long run, it can get pretty expensive. You have no control over the rent. So even if you love the property, your rent could you know, increase and you have no say in that because you don't own the property. If you have a lease, the landlord could raise the rent at the end of the lease um, without any notice to you. Most landlords are pretty good at giving you notice when it comes to rent increase, but not all landlords are alike, so be aware. In a month to month lease, here in Alberta, the landlord has to give you three months notice in order to increase your rent. And they can only raise your rent once during a 12 month period, maximum. Let's be honest, rent goes up, whereas your mortgage goes down over time. I'll put a link in the description box in regards to the Alberta legislative regulations and also to the landlord and tenant board. And number two, the landlord could decide at the end of the lease that they're no longer going to renew the lease because they want to move back into the property or a family member is going to move back or perhaps they've decided that they're going to sell that property. This sometimes can put you on edge as you don't really know whether the landlord's going to renew your lease or not. Maybe you're comfortable in that property and you've lived there for a long time and you really don't want to move, but that decision is really not up to you because you don't own the property. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of buying a home. Number one, asset appreciation. Over time, your home could appreciate in value now let's be honest, not every home appreciates in value year over year. We have seen it before where homes have gone down in value. So not guaranteeing you that your home will appreciate every single year. Not only that, but as you make your mortgage payment each month, your mortgage balance is going down and down. So not only do you owe less when it's time to sell, but your home might be worth more in value than when you purchased it. With real estate, it's like investing. Slow and steady wins the race. And number two, you can renovate your home. Since you're the homeowner, you can do anything you want to your property. You can renovate the inside, you can renovate the outside as you wish. You can knock down walls, you can renovate the kitchen. If you wanna put a bathroom in the basement, you can go ahead and do that. If you wanna paint your fence purple, you can do that as well. You own the property so you can do whatever you want to it. Well, maybe your neighbors don't want you to paint your fence purple. And if you have a homeowners association, they might say no painting your fence purple. And number three, being a homeowner gives you stability. You know where your home is, you know where your kids are going to go to school. And most of all, you know how much your mortgage payment is going to be every month. No one's going to kick you out of your home. As long as you're making your mortgage payments, paying your property tax, then that home is yours forever. So nobody's gonna kick you out. Now let's talk about the cons of buying a home. The number one thing, it's expensive. It's an expensive cost up front. In short, you need to come up with your down payment. 
you need to come up with your home inspection, you need to come up with legal fees, and you'll need insurance on that home, as well as you'll need to pay property tax. This is all your responsibility up front. Now you can get a down payment gifted to you from a family member, but not everyone has that luxury. You can also go ahead and watch my video on mortgages once you're finished this video. And number two, it's e-liquid, meaning that you can't just go to the bank to get money out in case of an emergency, like you could with say, a stocks or the bonds or perhaps in a savings account. So um, it's a little bit more difficult to get money out of your mortgage for an emergency situation. Now you could get a mortgage with an option for a secure line of credit, which gives you some access to get equity out of your home without having to wait for it. Now keep in mind, the more you access this money, the more you will owe when it comes time to renew your mortgage. And number three, you are responsible for everything when it comes to that home. Meaning that if the roof starts to leak, the onus is on you to fix it, not a landlord. So anything that goes wrong with this house, it's your cost and your cost alone. If you're not handy, then this could get very expensive, as if you need to call in a professional in order to do all the repairs for you. The one thing you wanna do is start learning how to do some of the small repairs yourself, so the cost is not so much. Now, whether you choose to buy a home or rent a home, that really is a decision for you and your family to make. Most people would think that because I'm a real estate agent, I would tell you always to buy a home, but sometimes renting a home is the right decision for you. But if you're thinking about buying a home and you're thinking about moving in a short term, then perhaps buying a home is not the right decision for you. Maybe renting is the right decision if you're not going to be in the home for a while because it costs you money. You're gonna to have to pay a payout penalty to the bank because you're gonna be breaking the contract if you need to sell your home and move. Plus, if you put less than 20% down, you would have paid CMHC a premium in order to open the mortgage. There would also be real estate fees, legal fees, if you're going to sell the home. Now, final word, if you're like me, and most people are not like me, I'm kind of unique and different, and you're not great at saving money, then buying a home is actually like forced savings. So that really worked for me. Now, most people do not miss paying their mortgage, so this would give you some savings when you go to retire, which is fantastic. Now, if you're more disciplined, you could take that money that you're saving from renting and invest in the stock market. This will allow you to have liquid asset as opposed to keeping it in, you know, a mortgage. But that's not me or my husband, so a mortgage is the thing for us. Now in Calgary, we have had an average increase of home value at 5.8% over the last 20 years. And back in 2007 and 2006, we saw in Calgary that the home value doubled in price basically. My husband always says that when we purchased our very first home, we went from the working poor to the middle class. So it does allow you to have that for savings. I'm also going to include a rent versus buy calculator in the description box for you. If you enjoy this video, you might like the next one that's coming up.